Dear Savior, wonderful saints, let us pray in. Dear Father God, we thank you for another glorious, wonderful day, Father. We're thankful for the heads of protection that you have surrounded around our family, Father. We're thankful, Father, that that heads of protection trickles down to the young ones and trickles down to the generations, Father, that are going to be coming up after us, Father. We ask, Father, that you continue, Father, to hold them and guide them and be with them, Father, unto the path of correction to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So, saints, this is a beautiful, wonderful word right here because we definitely got to put a distinct distinction between what God is doing and who God is. Now, I titled this, these are not from the Father, but are from the world. So, I notice a lot of people when they receive things is when they want to praise God. But we got to understand that these material things and these assets that come with the world are not of the Father. We always count them as a blessing, but they are not a blessing. They are from this world. And this scripture right here is going to let you know that. That's why the good and the wicked receive of the things because they are from this world. Now, let's start up here at 1 John 2, 15 through 16 and break this down. Do not love this world nor the things in it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world only only offers and craves for physical pleasure. Now, as we see what the Lord is telling us here, if you love this world, you cannot love him. This world only offers you of pleasure and things that only pleases the flesh. The spirit and the flesh are at war with each other. So if you're receiving things that only pleasing of the flesh, this is not of the Father. This is pleasing to the flesh. And whatever is of the flesh does not please the Father. So let's continue on. And physical pleasure craver for everything we see and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. So we see, saints, all of this material stuff, all of these things that we are getting that are, are um, pleasing to the flesh are from this world. Do not associate that with the Father. That's why I tell you guys to get yourself in the Word so you can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost power, which is Galatians 5.22, that can rectify your character and grow you into the new man of who God is intending for you to be so you can make it to heaven. That is the true gift. That is the true gift. All of these other things that we're calling gift of material things and people want to say, oh, God is blessing me. Oh, he's blessing me in so many ways because they're receiving things that are pleasing of the flesh. And that's when they glorify God. But as soon as it's time to get in the fire or go up against something, are we using that same attitude to glorify God? Because that's when he's working his best, it says in us, is when our strength is made weak, he is made perfect in our weakness. So when we're going through is when God is trying to build us and to correct us and direct us. So saints, let us know the difference from the material things and from what God is really doing in our life to grow us. So this is a powerful, wonderful word. I hope you receive this word in Jesus' mighty name.